Hey y'all, it's Seon. So for this week, I thought we were gonna do something a little bit different. Hello, Gucci. Say hi, baby. <laughs> okay. I thought we were gonna do something a little bit different for this week. You're sniffing me. And we are going to, um, not we. I am going to be attempting to give context to certain photos of me in the past. So, if you hear any loud noises, it's either my sister screeching in the living room or my dogs fighting. So, let's go. The first photo that I'm going to be putting here is... You can see it? It's a photo of me and my sister. I'm looking at the photos here, okay? So, yeah, it's a photo of me and my sister on the first day of school at our new school at the time this was in tw 2015 I was you know wearing my <laughs> plaid long sleeve that was clearly way too tight at that point wearing my um, band shirt that had um, some band hello had some um, bands on the back, but it was a different logo in the front because it's a tour shirt. I have my baller that says rocker. <laughs> and I have my red Converse, which I have here, by the way, for a, for a thing that I did. That's why I look like this. Anyways, do you see, do you see that, um, do you see those jeans? Yeah, I ripped them myself. And you see <laughs> that phone case? Yeah, uh, that was those I Heart mustache phone cases. And I was like, that's actually disgusting because I grew out of it. But I did have that phase. And I basically blocked everything out and filled out like the spaces with like band names. I can see it. I can see Green Day. I can see BJ because Billy Joe. So yeah, let's move on to the next photo. As you can see, yes, that is me. I was, I think, five or six years old. So if you're from Cebu as well, you've probably seen me at some point because they were giving these out. So yeah, actually we did a whole photo shoot for this. Which is actually ironic because we shot the photo shoot at like some grounds near Ayala. And it was like this whole thing where there was like a race and had to be like... Game time! Okay, next photo. <laughs> I might have to blur out Angela's face for this one if she doesn't allow me to put her face. But you know, yeah, I'll ask. I'll ask her. So you'll see. But yeah, that's Angela. And that's us in the tenth, gr tenth. That's us in the tenth grade, with our, <laughs> with the. Okay, okay. So the context for this photo. Also, forgive me for, for if you play Pokemon Go, because I don't memorize the names of the Pokemon anymore. So, there was this was a time when Pokemon Go just got really famous. It was about June or July of 2016. And there was this dead rat on the side of the road outside school, so we were like, Hey, it's that one Pokemon, insert name here, and he's dead. Take selfie. Yes, that is our sense of humor. So, yeah, that's the context of that wonderful, wonderful photo. The next photo we have here needs no explanation. It's very, very self-explanatory. Okay, next photo. It's my sister's birthday. I think this was, okay, judging by the way I look, this was 2013. And you can see my fuzzy sweater that I thrifted in Baguio. You can see my matching uh, paper airplane necklace and bracelet. 
Rice. Oh, it's so itchy. Why? Every time. Every time in a video, I, I scratch my nose at least once. Okay, I don't know if you noticed that, but... Okay, anyways. My sister looks furious. It's her birthday. I have no idea why she looks like that. We also thrifted that sparkly top that she's wearing. And I'm wearing a black skater skirt that is asymmetrical in a really weird way for some reason. And I have no idea what's going on. And yeah, I used to smile like that. Like. You see it? Yeah, you see it. I was... Okay, this was January of 2013? Or was it... Yeah, January of... Tw I don't know what year this was. This is either January of 2013 or 2014. But I don't look like I'm 12 here. I think I was 13 in this photo. Yeah, most probably. Oh yeah, 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 definitely, definitely 2014 in January, because I was still 13 here. So yeah, <laughs> let's move on. This next photo that you see over here, uh, okay, so for privacy reasons, I guess, because yeah, I'm just not gonna mention any names of the other fellow children that are it with me in this photo because you know I haven't talked to them in a while so it would be weird if I reached out but yeah they're pretty cool so that's me in a blonde wig wearing a sequined hoodie with a red tutu petticoat thing and you know what it was my birthday i believe my ninth birthday birthday at mcdonald's and guess the theme hannah montana insert sound there but yeah that wig looks crusty as hell like i would get clocked like in two seconds <laughs> it's just really funny I'm sorry it's just it's so funny to look at and the fact that everyone beside me looks so enthusiastic too like yay happy birthday okay fun fact when I had this birthday some I only invited a few people because eh, you know I I just wanted to so maybe like the people from my class, there were like 10 of them or something. And when they arrived, the other people that were there were my relatives and they were like, why are there so few of us? And I was like, I don't even know. How do, how do you respond to that? I was like, I don't know, because I don't like other people. Just kidding. I, I, don't I, don't, I don't know what my thought process was with invitations. I don't know. I was like eight years old and planning that. Anyways, next photo. Okay, so if any of you who are watching are from Cebu, this is in Mountain View. And I can understand that if you have never been to this place, you're so confused right now. Or maybe you're not. Maybe you think this is normal. So so this is a little um, statue thing of a carabao. Carabao. And that's a plowing thing that my sister is holding. So I just want you to pay very close attention to the fashion in this photo right now. Like, it's so 2010s. Holy shit. Yeah. Okay. I'm just gonna leave that in. <laughs> Look at my shoes! Pink and blue Velcro Mary Janes. I yeah and then these like off-white folded cuffed pants with this blue i think it blue jacket that had like the texture of like those juicy juicy couture kind of
kinds of jackets. My dad took this photo, by the way. And this is my sister with her Oshkosh Bagosh uh, jumper dress and her tiny little gladiator black flat sandals. And she's like farming, you know? So yeah, I'm just giving context because, you know, I understand that it would be strange to see a 10 year old on a midget carabo. So. Next photo! I love this photo, okay. Context. This was the 11th grade, and if you know, if you watch iDubs or. Yeah, I think it was. I don't know if it was from a photo of him or a video where he took his glasses and he was like, he put it far away from his face and it made his eyes really small. So. I called everyone I knew. No, I didn't call everyone I knew. I called a few of my friends around the classroom and said, "Hey, um, can you do that?" And like, I took pictures of like each of them, like my close friends. And obviously, I had them take one of me. And those are not my glasses. I don't remember who owns those glasses. If you own those glasses, comment down below. But yeah, uh, 11th grade. I was, I think, 16. No, 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 I was already 17 in this photo, for sure, yeah. I can tell because... Oh, wait, no, actually... Yeah, yeah, I could tie my hair at this point, so I'm definitely 17. Because I got that pixie cut on the 1st of September, so it was definitely untieable at that point. And also... Wait, why are my nails black? Oh, okay. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Out of context, sort of. But my nails are black on one side and, like, normal on the other because... Judging by that, it means that I just came... We, we just came back from semestral break. So I was trying to be, like, you know, a rebel and... Not really, but, like... You know when, like, you kind of want to get away with, like, having manicure because like everyone did it in beige and i was like no way i'm keeping my black nails on one hand so yeah just a you know little fun fact for you next photo i wore that photo what i wore that outfit and i realized that i looked like cat Leia's sketch pad so i took a photo with the sketch pad and i love this outfit so much i was also in the 11th grade here and this is the whole outfit. This is what it looks like. It actually looks really cute. And yeah, not much to it. This is blurry ass, dark ass photo here with my sister. We both have really short hair. This was the summer, I believe, before the 10th grade. So it was the summer of 2016. Louis sleeping under the table and Gucci sleeping by the cabinet. Oh, why are they here though? They never sleep in this room. Anyways, so it just looks really funny because my sister smiles like this, which I used to smile like before, by the way. And I'm smiling like you saw my photo when I was in the first day of school at the ninth grade. That was how long my the longest my hair has ever been in my teenage years and after that I just gradually started cutting my hair shorter and shorter and shorter and this was like the third level of shortness before it grew again throughout the 10th grade and then in the 11th grade I cut it into a pixie cut yeah fun fact okay so this photo is basically just this is an enchanted kingdom. This is from some um, s statue thing in the front holding like the menu supposedly. I just thought it looked weird so I was like... That's it. This is a bookmark for my Hannah Montana birthday in the 9th... Huh? In 2009. And as you can see my sister is stepping on Hannah Montana's foot. 
and you can tell by my brown boots and my plaid shirt that I am trying to be a country country girl. You know, I tried. I really tried. And you know, I don't even know why my sister is in that bookmark. Like, it's not her birthday too. It re it's really weird. So yeah, thanks mom. Next photo. It's me and Louie. Wearing cloud goggles. 2017. Next. Okay, these are just like similar photos that I gathered because I love the chaotic energy that they bring. So this one is just a photo of me having a video call with my mom from last summer when my head was shaved and growing out. And I used the weird filter. And my mom's just like, wow, like not even reacting. And this one is, we were at a, an ice cream place across from 7-Eleven in 2016 or possibly early 2017 and yeah we just had this whole thing where we edited a bunch of photos like this for a while it was me and Angela and Hans and it was just it was just a thing for a while <laughs> and I don't know it's just so funny and you can see my cousin there in the back Nipperthy hi here's another one of me and Hans <laughs> Okay, just just take it in. Just take in the features of the photo. I'm just gonna sit here for like five seconds so you can stare at it. Okay, so the last photo is just me early in the morning, early this year, when my hair was still super, super red, using the filter and as you can see, I didn't have my lip ring yet, but I had a lip stud, which was a pain in the ass, by the way, for months. So yeah, that's all we have for today, tonight, kids, and kids and little ding-dongs everywhere, and yeah. What? I have no idea what I just said. Anyways, yeah, um, I have a few clips that I'm going to add to the end of this about this bag that I'm making. If you want to stay for that, go ahead. So yeah, I tried something a little bit different this time. Soon enough, if I have a better camera, we're gonna react to stuff. So yeah, that's all y'all. Thank you so much for watching. Please hit like, subscribe, and tap on the notification bell. And be very mindful for our release soon. Um, we're working on it. And yeah, it's gonna be great. Hope you like that. And if you don't, then it's cool, you know. Authenticity, huh? But yeah, I'm working on some stuff. And by the way, we hit, from what I remember, 126 subs. Okay, I know a lot of people have like huge channels out there, but I just wanna say thank you. It really means a lot to me and yeah, it's just, it's insane. I, I can't picture 126 people tr wanting to listen to what I have to say. But, you know, yeah, it, it means a lot to me to have your support. I appreciate it so much. And especially the ones also who also support my music. Because, you know, yeah, my music is my soul. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Bye y'all, I might wake up my dogs. Enjoy the video that I'm about to show you from yesterday. So I Follow me on Instagram at Bullet Aesthetic. Check out the links down below. And yeah, feel free to comment anything, video suggestions or whatever. And I'll see you next week, y'all. Also, fun fact for this photo, I added this after shooting the video, so I forgot. I got called so many times because we had a hair schedule. I know, crazy, right? Catholic school. We had a hair schedule. And every time, I don't, it looked weird when I'd braid my hair. 
Cause I don't know, probably cause like I wasn't used to people touching my hair, so like I was scared to ask people to braid it. I'd get called all the time for the most weird things. But yeah, on the first day of school, I already knew the rules, but I still wore ripped jeans. I I didn't take off my black nail polish, and you know multiple earrings. So, and you could imagine the looks on people's faces when everyone was wearing uniforms and were everyone was everyone was wearing uniforms and I was wearing that so you could imagine how people looked at me they were horrified um I think yeah I mean I'd be weirded out if I saw me back then hell I'm weirded out by myself now so Hello, so, um, I'm just, I, I have no idea what I'm gonna be talking about in my video tomorrow, which is the video that you're gonna be watching right now, but I wanted to share with you my progress on this bag that I'm making. It's made out of an old jumper, or overalls that were short, that had shorts, and it's really cool. I don't really have a pattern for it, I'm just doing random stuff and it looks pretty good. I have a little secret pocket in here and when you close it, oh no. Yeah. Wait, no. Yeah. Yeah, you close it up like this. I'm not done because I haven't like sewn on the sides yet and my stitching is still kind of bad because I just learned how to use this. But I'm doing pretty well and I still have to sew on the straps and the sides so yeah. So you're probably wondering, why are you making a, a jumper bag? Wow, that is dark, wait, okay. Well, cause the jumper doesn't fit me. It was given to me by my relatives, but doesn't fit me. So yeah, I'm making this and it's a really cool thing that you can like, if you hand paint stuff, you can hand paint on it. If you have a lot of button pins and patches, you can just add it on here, give it a personality. And the straps I'm using are actually the straps of a jumper itself, so it's gonna look really cool when it's done. Yeah, I, I really just wanted to say that because I'm actually really excited about this. I've been really nervous to use this sewing machine for a while, but now I'm actually starting and getting a little bit better, so... Yeah, you should try it. Actually, I, I hand sewed... So I had sewed some of sewed had sewed some of this um in the bottom. That was before I got the sewing machine. And for the flap on top and the secret pocket, that's all just the sewing machine. So hopefully I'll be a little bit quicker. I'll be able to finish this before the end of August because I am always busy. Okay, just to clarify, making bags out of overalls and denim things, okay, it's not anything new. I'm not claiming to invent it or be an innovator or whatever. So, yeah, just in case someone tries to come for me and say that I copied someone else. So, yeah, I'm just trying to make a bag.